It's great. Thanks. You could go into a little bit <laughs> <laughs> later on. Okay. She's off work. Cool. Awesome. Is she? How late is she working over at the Goose? We can maybe talk a bit about the video stuff too. Very nice. So when you get home, the only thing you'll want to do is just hit it with a uh, air dryer okay. for about five or six minutes to heat cure that, cool. and it'll be good to go to go to the bar. Sweet. Yeah. Jasmine Dillavu. I started the Namba Club Book Club a year ago with JD Cell because we wanted to create a tighter art community in Colorado Springs post graduation. And so we just got some wine and some friends and asked people to talk about their creative endeavors together and what that would look like in like a perfect scenario. And it grew and grew, and we had all these amazing creatives come out and like want to talk about their projects and their dreams and aspirations. And it's been great since. And after a few conversations that, you know, she and I had uh, in my studio space, we uh, kind of sort of mixed up this idea of getting all different kinds of creatives and artists together um, in one space to talk about their practices and disciplines and interests and uh, aspirations for what they're trying to do um, either this year or just with their practice in general. Um, I was like almost a founding member, but I was very lazy. Probably not a founding member, not at all. I just was here sometimes in the beginning. This year's been really awesome. I mean, everything from like a group of four people coming out to a group of 20 people coming out has been ultimately successful because you have people coming together and supporting each other's creative endeavors and listening, and that's enough to like build something really beautiful. So that seems like a success to me. I'm really excited about the tour for the year and all the different pop-ups we're going to do and all the artist critique nights we're going to host and kind of everything this event could possibly be. NBCBC on tour is a year of pop-ups all across Colorado Springs, popping up in different venues in order to teach people who come to NBCBC about venue options and people who do cool stuff. Like this month we met at Welcome Fellow, which was really cool because we had a chance to um, teach people about what Welcome Fellow is, what you can do there, who the people are who run this space. Plus we got to just be someplace really cool for the night. And likewise, the groups in town get to know about NBCBC, about people who make creative, cool things happen for themselves, which is awesome. I think that what is most enjoyable about these sort of nonchalant meetings and um, just sort of small congregation um, is, is that there isn't pressure to be informed about a subject or even uh, 
strongly passionate about a subject perhaps, but rather an opportunity to learn or just listen. You don't have to come with um, a strong opinion that you want to state and talk about it and, and get other people's opinions on it. Rather, you can come completely uninformed and, and leave learning something. So that's really nice. <laughs> so, if I lift this up, if you want to move those two there. Now we're going to set this down. Usually you have a hinge to do this, but since we don't, I'm going to be your hinge. Okay. And you're going to put the, screen, the squeegee back at about 90 degrees. hosted at the Knights of Columbus Hall Space here. Um, and it's really cool to be celebrating that one year anniversary here today. Um, just knowing that this is something that so many other people need and are interested in and, and enjoy and appreciate and, and are able to grow from. Um, so I know it's helped me tremendously as an artist and individual kind of coming out of the undergraduate scene and looking into more graduate based work um, in the next like couple of years. So this has been a nice sort of um, next step into a lot of things that I'd like to do and like what I'd like to see happen in the community here and also within myself. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the basic. Uh, the setting really allows for this sort of nonchalant meeting. And I, I appreciate that. It doesn't feel scary coming here, you know, it doesn't, there's no sense of pressure. It's awesome. We've been using the KCH all year long to do our events and right now we're just going to be using KCH for um, artist critiques and art talks, which will happen once a month starting next month and just bringing one community member in to talk about their art and their work and something that they feel really inspired by, which is cool because this venue is perfect for that. So that's really enjoyable. And, and in my situation, it's, it's especially enjoyable because I can bring my little one. And oftentimes there are other little ones here, infants all the way to five or six, and also just playing and, and enjoying. And so it gives those of us that sometimes are unable to, to go to community events, it gives us an opportunity to sort of enjoy and still connect with our community with our local community and and that's really lovely it's nice when we do laid back things like this because you get creatives to come together and they don't have to worry about trying to say anything intellectual or do anything too artsy maybe they just get to come meet each other and learn what the possibilities of our community are and maybe get to know someone you wouldn't traditionally uh, hang out with not your immediate circle you know come hang out with some chefs for the night come hang out with some punk rockers for the night. I don't know. I can't think of anything. Yeah. I tried to cover most of the basics, but I figure that's probably enough. Okay. Right. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Goodbye. Yeah. We're rollers.